What's up guys, Coach Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel, man. In today's episode, I'm gonna be going over a text breakdown, showing you guys everything from the initial meetup, leading up all the way until the next date, and then even past all of that. So just to give you guys a little bit of context, I met this girl while I was out with two friends of mine, and her and her friend were actually leaving the venue as me and my buddies were going into the venue, so I didn't have too much time to talk to her. She's 29, beautiful Colombian girl, and I'm going to show you everything that happened from the moment I got her phone number up until right now. And by the way, guys, if you like this video, I have several other text breakdowns as well as day game, night game, polls. Everything you guys want to see is on my Patreon now, including videos that have never been uploaded to YouTube. I'm going to put a link in the description. You can get access to over 20 videos, texting, phone calls, all of that for literally $1. So if you want to see more content, you guys like the channel, click that. The link's in the description, and I'll see you guys over on Patreon. So the way the texting starts off is just me saying, hey, it's Kyle, and then I sent her my address of where the after party was going to be. At the end of the night, I think I called her maybe 10 minutes after this, talked to her for maybe one minute, and then got her and her friend to agree to come. So you can see right after that, she messages me and says, hey, I'm here. So they ended up coming through. They hung out with me and a bunch of my friends maybe for like an hour, hour and a half at the end of the night. And that was the end of it. So now I did not reach out to this girl for five days. I texted her Thursday evening and I sent her a video of me cooking because one thing that we really connected with during the initial conversation was that I really like to cook. She likes to cook. We had this kind of teasing, joking about who's a better cook. So I open up the conversation just by providing a little bit of value and showing her something interesting about my life. So you can see, I send the video of me cooking and I just say, Chef Kyle with a little emoji on it. And I just leave it at that. So she comes back an hour later and says, where did you steal that video from, LOL. And then she says, what are you making? So she took an hour. I actually was busy at the time. I think I hit her back two hours later and said, chicken tacos, extra veggies, and don't hate because I'm a better cook than you. So still just keeping that teasing kind of vibe going. She comes back and, and says, it sounds good. I don't know about that. I will have to taste it, which is already showing a little bit of interest and, you know, definitely positive signals so far. However, at this point, it's already 9 p.m. So I just I come back and I say, you're about four hours too late. It's all gone. LOL. Maybe sometime in the future, if you're lucky enough, kind of just throwing out the idea of possibly meeting up with her. But again, it's just not pushy. It's kind of like maybe if you're lucky enough, you could try it one day. She comes back and just says, lucky enough, crying face. And now she's starting to respond a little bit quicker. So my responses are a little bit quicker as well. I'm not texting her back instantly, but I'm, I'm still kind of pinging off of what she's sending. So then I come back and say, LOL, Chef Kyle is an earned privilege. What will you be contributing to the meal, miss? So it's not try hard. I'm not pushy. I'm not begging her to come hang out. You see how it's like I'm throwing out the idea of the meetup. But at the same time, I'm not making it so easy on her. It's still a little bit of tease challenging, right? So then she comes back and says, I already earned that privilege Saturday night. I won't contribute anything until I taste it. Now, this isn't really a test, but she's, it's kind of like a frame battle because she's like, I'm not contributing anything. You're cooking for me. And I don't really give in to that frame. I kind of just, in a teasing, playful way, I just say, geez, I was thinking a bottle of wine and help with the dishes at least. Rude. Right? So again, it's just like, I'm st we're still moving towards the meetup, but it's all playful. It's all joking and it's not super easy. It's a little bit of a challenge on her. So she comes back and says, LOL, okay. I will contribute with a very nice bottle of wine, dessert, and coffee. Is that enough with a winky face? And I like this because now she's starting to be building up. I'm trying to build up her investment at the same time. You know, not only is she going to come to me, but she's going to be contributing to the meal too. So all very positive so far. And again, look, I still am not that easy going. It's just a little playful challenge. I said, sounds lovely. However, I'm expecting authentic Colombian coffee though, so don't disappoint, LOL. <laughs> I like that message a lot. And then, she, so, and then she comes back and says, LOL, I won't with a coffee symbol. 
So after she says that, I just leave the, I just left the message open like that. I didn't respond. She didn't really ask me a question, so I didn't feel like I needed to respond. And it was going good so far, so I just left it at that. And I think I was out Friday, Saturday. So Sunday evening, I hit her up and I said, "Hola, Colombianita." She come, which just means like little Spanish girl. She comes back and says, "Hello, Kyle. How are you?" And look, she's starting to respond quicker. I said. Just getting back from a long weekend in Philly, a lot of fun, but also very exhausting. Did you do anything fun? So again, I'm just kind of conveying a cool lifestyle, not being so easy, not being so concerned what she's doing, but the way I'm presenting my messages are coming off high value. She comes back and says, not really. I went to a parade today, a lot of Italians there, a lot of good food. So what I want to do right now is just vibe with her Keep it playful and start moving the interaction towards the date still. So I come back and said, more Italians? Jeez, sounds like you might have an obsession talking about because I'm Italian too. So then she says, LOL, maybe I do have an obsession. And I said, well, I might be able to help you with that. When are you free this week, by the way? She comes back and says, LOL, how are you going to help me with that obsession? I'm free on Thursday or Wednesday night. So again, she's giving me options. This is all very positive so far. So I just said, I meant like contribute towards increasing your obsession. And okay, I should be free one of those days. I'll let you know, I'll let you know more about my schedule by tomorrow. And now it's already kind of late in the, in the night. So she texts me the following morning and says, sounds good. Let me know then. So this is still Monday. I didn't respond to when she said, sounds good. But that night, at around 8.30 p.m., I FaceTimed her. And since we haven't seen each other since that first night out, I want to be able to talk to her, get her on the phone, get this kind of funny, flirty vibe going, just to make her more comfortable about when she actually does come out to see me. So I've noticed if you're actually gonna get the girl on a date, it's very good to get her on the phone before you guys meet up. It's gonna help reduce flaking and it's gonna make her feel more comfortable. So she, so I FaceTimed her, she didn't pick up. An hour later, she texts me back and says, did you FaceTime me or I made a mistake or you made a mistake, LOL. So I come back and said, I did. Was just trying to make your day a little bit better than usual with a smiley face. It's already late, she doesn't text me back. The next day she texts me at 11 a.m. and says, consider my day made, which is very positive. So I text her back an hour later, I said, mission accomplished, next time don't be so shy if I call. Have a lovely day, miss. Cause that was already Tuesday and she said the only two days that she was free is like Wednesday and Thursday. So, so she, and then she texts me back and says, LOL, have a lovely day, mister. So that was Tuesday. I waited. I didn't text her the rest of Tuesday. I just kind of kept it brief, waited. And then Wednesday night, I FaceTimed her again, two days after the initial one called FaceTimed her on Wednesday at like eight, eight thirty PM. She picked up vibed with her for a little bit. You know, I'm just teasing, having fun with her for maybe three or four minutes and just went to the call back to the initial conversation about how we could cook and she's gonna bring the wine. So the FaceTime went well. We discussed meeting up Thursday. We set a time approximately. I figured out her schedule. We said like 7, 7.30 would be good and that I would hit her up in the afternoon to confirm. And the reason I do that is it gives me, a, it gives me an excuse to kind of reach out to her in the afternoon, the day of the date. You know, I left it off that like we were gonna meet up, but I also said, I'll hit you up like when I'm out of work just to confirm. So now I reach out to her on Thursday. I say, hey, I'm good for 7.30, bring the wine. So she says, LOL, okay, see you around 7.15, send me the address again. I send the address again, sounds good, see you then. So I asked her, I actually asked her if she had any avocado by chance because I had already got home and I was about to start cooking. She said, no, but I can get it. I said, it's okay, we don't really need it because I didn't want her to show up even later. You know, I wanted more time to hang out with her. So I said, it's okay, we don't need it. I'm home and ready. She says, okay, I'll be there by 7.45. I'm a little late. I figured she was gonna be late anyway. I just send this sleeping emoji kind of as a joke. And then she says, hey, I am here, I think. So then she came over. She actually brought a bottle of wine, two avocados and like a fruit platter for my family as well. So obviously all very good signs. She came in, I was already kind of finishing up the meal, just took the food and Cracked open the bottle of wine, teasing, flirting, joking, eating, getting to know each other, and then I, and then all while escalating and increasing the vibe, right? So we hung out for about three or four hours, good things happened, 
she then left at about 11 because we both had work early the next morning. So she said, hey, I just got home. Thanks for dinner. It was delicious. And I texted her back saying dinner was great. I think I enjoyed dessert even more, referring to other things. And then um, I said, sweet dreams, love. So that's exactly how I texted from hello all the way until the date. And, and now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I did after that over the last week or so. So then I waited Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I reached out to her on Monday and said, hola bonita, meaning like, hello, beautiful. Um, she says, hola, bebe, how are you? And then I come back and said, lovely, at the gym, unlike somebody I know. It's kind of a joke because while we were in person, she, we were talking about the gym and how she wants to go more, but she hasn't been going. So again, every time I reach out, it's either some cool video, some kind of callback joke, something that's going to get her emotions going. It's never you. It, it's usually not just, Hey, how are you? You know, I, I very rarely will do that. I'm going to, I'm going to reach out showing something interesting or something funny. So she comes back and says, I actually went to the gym this morning. LOL. I said, Ooh, okay. Ma, I hope you had a great weekend. When are you free this week? So not too much texting, really just hello with a callback or some kind of interesting video. And then quick little vibe and then move schedule the next meetup. The texting should not be that much. It's really just to set up the next date, find out availability and then lighthearted, playful humor. That's it. Okay. Don't overcomplicate the texting. She comes back and says, I did. Thanks. How was your weekend? I don't know. Maybe, maybe Wednesday night. I said, I actually just laid low this week. I actually just laid low this weekend because I'll be in Charlotte Friday to Sunday coming up. Wednesday could work for me too. When will you know? She says, well, we can change it for when you come back since it's that time of the month, LOL. So I just said, laugh my ass off. We'll talk tomorrow when I know my schedule. Good night, miss. And I say that because I don't want to make it sound like I just want to fuck this girl. Even though she says the message like maybe we shouldn't hang out because I'm on my period. I'm not like... Yeah, that's a good point. Why don't you hit me up when your period's over? That way, when you, we do hang out, we can fuck. Um, I don't want to say that. So I just say, we'll talk tomorrow when I know my schedule. Good night, miss. And then once I have her on the phone, I can joke more and make it sound like it's not just about sex. She says, okay, good night. I actually don't call her the next day. I, was, I don't know what I was doing, but I was busy. But I didn't reach out to her the next day. And then Wednesday, she reaches out to me. So she sends this and it's, and right below it, she writes, I feel like doing this to you, which is all very positive, obviously, right? So I come back and I say, that pic just puts so many thoughts in my head. Don't tempt me, LOL. And I like this message because I don't want to make it sound like it's so much about sex. If you keep doing, yes, it seems good in the moment, but if you just keep texting the girl about sex and about sex over the, over time, as her emotions start growing, she's going to be like, he just likes me because we fuck. And every time I, I'm going to his house and we're just having sex, right? I don't want to make her feel like that's what it is. So instead I actually say that put that pick puts so many thoughts in my head. Don't tempt me. I'm actually like, although I'm saying don't tempt me, it's kind of keeping it going but it's also making it sound like I don't really want that, want the sex that much, right? So it's a good message. Whenever a girl sends something sexy, I kind of like, I push it away almost as if it's, almost as, as if it's like a taboo thing. But by uh, ironically, by doing that, I don't come off thirsty for sex and it kind of makes it taboo, which makes the girl want to do it even more. So it's all very good. She comes back and says, Smiley, smiley face three times. I just send three hearts and we leave it off at that. Now it's the weekend and I just wanted to send her something cool. So I sent her this video of me driving through Charlotte and like showing her the city line and all of that. Again, just a cool way of showing I'm doing high value stuff and I, I found good lighting. So I make myself look good and I'm showing that I'm doing high value activities when I reach out to her. She comes back and says, very nice, looking sexy. Meanwhile, she's stuck in traffic. Um, 
And honestly, that's where we left off because that was just two days ago. I actually didn't even respond to that because I was out in Charlotte with a big group. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to reach out to her in the next day or two because she's been wondering what I'm doing. She's watching me on Instagram. She's attracted to me enough. I don't need to be texting her all around the clock every day. So now when I do reach out, I might just call her tonight or tomorrow, keep the vibe up and, and just say, hey, what's up? Like, I want to see you. Are you free this week or when are you free? I'm going to set up the next date and I'm going to repeat the process. And as her interest level and attraction keeps growing towards me, I can slowly start increasing mine as well. I don't want to go higher than where she's at or even like equivalent. I'm probably just as her attraction is going up and up and interest level is going up, I'm going to slowly increase mine as well. Okay. And that's the problem with a lot of these guys. Like the girl starts showing interest and then boom, you start over pursuing. So what I'm showing you guys here. A lot of good techniques and principles you could apply in your own text game to not come off too thirsty, convey high value, and get the girl pursuing and initiating contact as well. All right, so I hope you guys learned something here. If you enjoyed this and you want more texting, more phone calls, day game, night game, check out my Patreon. It's $1. You get 20 infield videos plus breakdown, and I'm constantly putting up new footage on there that has never been seen on YouTube as well. All right, so the link's in the description. Click that. Hope you guys learned something here. And until next time, Coach Kyle signing out. Peace.